Well, now I just need to hope that I actually do record this time. Otherwise, well, then you're gonna end up like this guy, not getting a video. Hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video. It's a big one today, guys, and it's gonna make me go <coughs> Sorry, just having to let the man-child um, have some fun. But today, we are doing not a Mattel figure. No, no, today we're doing something special. Well, actually, we were some supposed to do something even more special, but an idiot here forgot to press the record button when he was building it. So, yeah, I forgot to press record for the Jurassic Park T-Rex breakout set. But we will be comparing this set to it. But we will do the second best set that we have so far, or the second biggest at least. And it is, of course, the one, the only, oh god, giant box itself. The, what's it called again? Uh, J Jurassic, Lego Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus Attack, which this is the main set. This is the big one, folks, that we have here today in the Lego line for Jurassic World Dominion. And I gotta say, it's quite interesting also. I can also tell that um, the Gecko's got a unique back piece, which is pretty cool to see. Also, the characters we get apart from Therizinosaurus and Giga, we get Alan Grant, we get Ellie Sattler, Owen Grady, Claire Deering, Kayla Watts, and Dr. Henry Wu, who, interestingly enough, has a beard for some reason, which he doesn't have if I recall seeing the trailers and stuff. I could be wrong, maybe I'm crazy. But, anyway, so basically this set has all the main characters, like almost all of them. Doesn't have Ian, which just, why, why? One, you're missing one character of the main ones, which realistically is kind of strange when you think about it Because if you wanted all the main characters, you'd have to get literally Three sets basically actually you'd need if you want Maisie then you just get the small one with blue or God knows, but we're just gonna waste no time. Well, actually we need to look at back of the box Oh God back of the box where you know, you can actually see me which I can't really see good God uh I'm gonna just back this up. So it gives you a little diorama of the Giga and the Therizinosaurus with a Biosyn helicopter showing the facility and how things work. You got the eggs, got Dr. Wu looking at some stats for his dinos. Also, interestingly enough, Lewis Dotson isn't a part of any of these sets actually, which is kind of strange. I'm hoping that we do get one set with him. Normally we, we don't usually get, um, second waves for lego with jurassic world unfortunately but i really do hope so because it's lewis dotson it's dotson we got dotson here well actually no we don't because it's not in the set but yeah you get to see the building and turn and this thing apparently turns or something oh no it's a trap door or something that the giga can rip off got the helicopter uh fishing rod i think or whatever the heck that is with claire and yeah alan with his eggs and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I love how all these sets, like, if we just, um, uh, where's another one? Uh, here. T-Rex. One thing I like is that for each of them, they're d different for their s banners. Because usually it's just the same one, like, you know, for the Mattel figures, it's just the T-Rex. Lego, on the other hand, have decided to change it up and s Instead of being like they did with Fallen Kingdom, where it was just Blue and Owen, now for each set, it shows the star dinosaur in the corner. For example, this star dinosaur has Rexy, this one has Giga, and also other ones have Trossraptor, one with Blue, so much more, which we'll, we'll have to unbox you some other time, Rexy. I know you're on the table already, but she's our, she's our guest attraction, so we gotta have her on. And I think we should just waste no more time and get right into this thing. That's one solar tape and two solar tape. And I think we don't need any more. And we're just gonna, just gonna. Oh my God! There's a lot more than I th bags than I thought. Like it's only 810 pieces, which is kind of strange. And as you can see, the little packets with their with the dinosaurs, which oh, these are just awesome. And yeah. Yeah, the Giga piece is way bigger than I thought it was. I'm going to have to look at that. But we're going to waste no time here, and we're going to just uh, start the, 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 the English Austin. We're going to start building. So let's just get this 
out of here. Ah! I've got it. Now, let's begin the build. And now, finally, we put you will here. And... <sighs> 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 38 seconds exactly later from the time... It's done. And I gotta say, this set actually had some surprises. I thought it was gonna be a little less complicated than it actually was, but I enjoyed it a lot more. And also, it's got some lovely details. Although, hold on, I realized I made a mistake. Um, Wu should technically be in the lab, but since we want to have him in the spotlight, we'll just grab his cup of tea, which, oh my god, that reminds me back in 2018 when the Stiggy Moloch set was released, and people were saying, like, he had his coffee, Every time BD Wong was like, it's tea, you idiots. And I was just like, yeah, go tea. And this set, this set is awesome, actually. Like, I was kind of annoyed with the price, which I probably put it up somewhere. It was um, $170, which that's in Canadian price. But actually, I still do really enjoy this. And I think the reason the price was so high comparison to like, for example, in the Indoraptor set from 2018 was only 130 at the most when it first came out here. And it had more pieces. It also had two legacy dinosaurs, which were the Indoraptor, of course. And also it came with Blue, though Blue was also in another set, so that probably dropped down. But it also came with most of the main characters, including all the antagonists. So if you just wanted all the antagonists and like the three main characters, you just had that set, and also if you wanted Blue and Interruptor, you already got that. But it's kind of strange, although I think it's because like this is the only set with Alan and Dr. Wu, which since they're legacy characters, it's under. I guess that's what's it. But this set is actually really enjoyable. Also, I will say, I really do enjoy this helicopter. It's a lot smaller than I was actually thinking. I mean, it's tiny in comparison to the Fallen Kingdom one we got, but still. I like it, I love the way that the wings look and these fans. I will say the only issue with the helicopter is I'm pretty sure the back end is supposed to be like this with these fans, but I guess it's because they didn't want to make smaller versions that they just decided to go with this, which it's not the end of the world and I'm gonna just put this down here. And let's get into the dinosaurs before we get into human characters, starting with the meeny meeny money. Let's go with Giga here, which I gotta say, the biggest surprise for this was how much I enjoy looking at it. Like, it's got Indominus' head, and its only mistake really here is the fact that it has T-Rex hands instead of three, which, it's not the end of the world for me. It It is for if this was a Mattel figure, but for Lego, they don't always go the mile end. Like, they could have realistically used the um, Carnotaurus hands that they had for Fallen Kingdom, like, they could have it would have been smaller arms but at least it would have been three but one thing that surprised me was the back on this guy like it has a it's now iconic um spikes which are all combined here like into one big brick now i originally thought that when i saw this set i thought this was going to be a piece that you attach to it so if you wanted um say if you didn't want this on it you could just take it off but no it's its own piece which i actually prefer that because it actually looks a lot better and also correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that this piece is longer than the regular torso because i've heard people say that actually i can test that let me just get uh, hold on uh, uh there we go here's the t-rex from 2015 actually 
and yeah, I can already see that it's definitely bigger, like, already putting the tail up, oh my god, that is so much longer, which, wow, actually, I really like that, like, it looks taller, and it looks de longer for sure, like, wow, they definitely nailed the Giga in making it look bigger than the T-Rex, it's also bigger than the Indominus Rex now, like, in both height and length, actually, just with this torso piece alone, which, actually, really, really cool, I did not realize that it was that long, though, though, also, it is interesting how skinny he is, actually, there, but, I like it, also, like the Indominus, as you can see with him having it, its head from the 2015-2020 slash sets of Indominus, it has closed, open, and Indominus, unlike with the regular ones where it's just closed and then open. Same with this guy, he's also got open and closed, and speaking of Thery, let's move on to him, well, you can have your mouth open, let's move on to Therizinosaurus. Now, my biggest downside to this is already it has the Indoraptor toe claws, which they did with the Baryonyx 2, which is kind of annoying, because realistically all they could have done is just, like, use, like, a new Lego piece, instead of having the toes splayed out like this, they just had them pointed flat. I'm trying to hold my pinky back, but it's a pain. But I absolutely love the way they made him have his super long claws. It's just, it's literally just this gray piece, and then you connect these finger bits. That is awesome to see. It really looks cool. And they're quite flexible. So, say you want to get him in different positions, you can have him like, say he's grabbing onto it and going after Woo's T. Oh no! Oh, and I just knocked down Alan. No, Alan! And also, so, you know, it's a good paint job, and also, the first time ever, I think, we've got a herbivore that can open its mouth, which is just awesome. And also, he looks, the head sculpt on this guy is actually really, really good, actually. Like, I love the red beak, it looks really good when its mouth is closed, actually. It does make me think of the one in the movie. I actually have the Mattel one here as well, so we could compare them, but... Maybe we'll save that for when we unbox that. Now, moving on to the set itself, I gotta say, it was more enjoyable. Now, I do wish that, like, some of these windows here could be smashed open. Like, I know there's stuff blocking them, but unlike with this one where, like, you have a little trap door on the bottom, and I'll probably show these in close-ups, but say, like, you want to have your Therizinosaurus bash in this, you can't. You could turn around the door, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, so if you wanted to smash inwards, then you could, like, have it go, BLAH! Oh, and smashes Ellie and gets the amber and gets away! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, God, he looks so weird with that. He's, oh, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Or 65 million years, actually, no. Yeah, big crick in the neck for you. And... You know, since it does have the Indoraptor body for the Therizinosaurus, which, actually, do we have, I don't remember where I put the, Theriz the Indoraptor, but it does have the Indoraptor's body, which gives it the long appearance, and because of the way it's thin, you can make it look like it's actually taller than the Giga, kind of, like, you'd have to get it into its max um, height, which, this is, would make it taller, which makes it more accurate to, like, the scaling, because we know Therizinosaurus is taller than both these two. But, moving up, back to the set, like, this guy has a little trap, so if you just pull this, well, oh wait, oh, it's caught, that's why. Yeah, you gotta pull it all the way out, and then boom, the person here falls. Now, if you have them on the inside, they're just gonna smack in the face, poof! But, if we just, um, put that back, and we'll just present, uh, Claire, unfortunately, since she was the one up here, we'll just put a test subject here to try and capture her like the giga you see he smashes the top and well she falls down already but you know we pull this why is it not some oh oh, oh oh geez there we go up and a piece fell off there we go yeah so yeah you have to pull it all the way out apparently i just had a clipping on something i don't know what and she just goes fling and into the mouth, and the Giga captures her on, well, not captures her, eats her. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, and sh she fell down. But yeah, guys, in terms of difficulty, not hard at all, so you don't really need a parent's help. And 
for price tag, I would say that this is a little too steep. I would say drop, they should have dropped it to 150 at the most because the weird thing is, the Legacy Jurassic Park set, which unfortunately we won't be unboxing because I forgot to record like an idiot, that set's only 130, so it's, and it has more pieces, Legacy characters, Legacy set in general. It's so weird that this set is, costs way more. Maybe it's because of the characters, that's probably it. And when it comes to other LEGO sets, don't worry, we will be unboxing all of them. Though, I probably will have to do them more spread out because there's not too many of them. And I'm really hoping that we get more waves because we don't have all the main characters. We don't have Mamadou Athi's character, we don't have Barry, we don't have Lewis Dotson even, which is weird. And we have a lot of repeating characters in these sets, which is kind of strange. But that is going to wrap up this video. Whew. It was quite a long one, even without the montage that I'll probably put in. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And what do you guys think about this set? Is it your favorite of the Dominion ones? Do you think it could have been improved a lot more? And what, which ones do you want to see next? Well, you know which one's next. We're going from biggest to smallest. But if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like as it helps the channel out. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button as this guy will come and haunt you in your nightmares. Because his name is Freddy, actually. And I, I think you can assume why his name's Freddy. But do it. You must to save yourself. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye